Workshop Technology Interview Prepare to ace your workshop technology interview with our detailed Q&A video. We cover essential questions and expert answers tailored for aspiring power plant engineers and technicians. Gain insights into critical topics such as lathe machine, sharper machine, planning machine, drilling machine etc. This video is perfect for anyone seeking a career in the power generation industry, from fresh graduates to seasoned professionals looking to brush up their knowledge. Understand what interviewers are looking for and learn how to present your skills effectively. Boost your confidence and get ready to impress with our comprehensive guide to workshop technology interview questions and answers. Question number one, what is the purpose of a lathe machine? Answer, a lathe machine is used to rotate a workpiece against a cutting tool to remove material and create cylindrical shapes. Question number two, differentiate between drilling and reaming. Answer, drilling creates a hole using a rotating cutting tool, while reaming enlarges and smooths an existing hole to improve its accuracy and finish. Question number three, explain the principle of milling. Answer. Milling involves rotating multiple cutting edges against the workpiece to remove material, generating flat or contoured surfaces. Question number four, what safety precautions should be followed while operating power tools? Answer. Always wear appropriate safety gear, goggles, gloves, ensure tools are properly maintained, avoid loose clothing, and follow operational instructions to prevent accidents. Question number five, describe the types of welding processes you are familiar with. Answer. Common types include MIG, metal inert gas, TIG, tungsten inert gas, and arc welding. Each uses different methods to join metals through heat and sometimes filler material. Question number 6. What are the advantages of CNC, computer numerical control, machines over conventional machines? Answer. CNC machines offer higher precision, repeatability, and automation in manufacturing processes compared to manual or conventional machines. Question number 7. Explain the concept of tolerance in manufacturing. Answer. Tolerance refers to the allowable deviation from a specified dimension in manufacturing. It ensures parts fit together correctly and meet functional requirements. Question number 8. What is the purpose of surface grinding? Answer. Surface grinding is used to produce smooth, flat surfaces on a workpiece by removing material using a rotating abrasive wheel. Question number 9. Discuss the importance of metrology in workshop technology. Answer. Metrology involves the measurement and inspection of components to ensure they meet design specifications, maintaining quality and precision in manufacturing. Question number 10. How would you handle a situation where a machining operation produces a part out of tolerance? Answer. I would first verify the issue through measurement, identify the cause, for example, tool wear or incorrect settings, adjust the parameters or tools as needed, and remachine the part to meet specifications. Question number 11. What is the purpose of heat treatment in metallurgy? Answer. Heat treatment is used to alter the physical and mechanical properties of metals, such as hardness and toughness, by heating and cooling processes like annealing, quenching, and tempering. Question number 12. Explain the concept of casting? Answer. Casting involves pouring molten metal into a mold cavity, allowing it to solidify and take the shape of the mold. It is used to produce complex shapes and large quantities of parts economically. Question number 13. Describe the difference between forging and casting. Answer. Forging involves shaping metal using compressive forces, typically through hammering or pressing, while casting uses molds and liquid metal to form the desired shape. Question number 14. What are the primary machining operations performed on a lathe machine? Answer. Turning, to create cylindrical shapes, facing, to create flat surfaces, drilling, to create holes, and threading, to create screw threads are common operations performed on a lathe machine. Question number 15. Discuss the importance of lubrication in machining operations. Answer. Lubrication reduces friction and heat generation between cutting tools and workpieces, prolonging tool life, improving surface finish, and preventing wear and tear on machines. Question number 16. What are the main types of cutting tools used in milling operations? Answer. End mills, face mills, and ball mills are common types of cutting tools used in milling. Each is designed for specific cutting tasks such as contouring, slotting, or profiling. Question number 17. Explain the concept of CNC programming. Answer. CNC programming involves writing instructions, G-code, that control the movements and actions of CNC machines to precisely manufacture parts according to design specifications. Question number 18. 
What safety precautions should be followed during welding operations? Answer. Ensure proper ventilation to avoid inhaling fumes, use welding curtains or screens to protect others from sparks, and wear appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, such as welding helmets, gloves, and aprons. Question number 19. How does EDM, electrical discharge machining, work? Answer. EDM uses electrical discharges, sparks, between an electrode and a workpiece submerged in dielectric fluid to remove material, particularly in intricate shapes or hardened metals. Question number 20. Discuss the importance of tool maintenance in workshop operations. Answer. Regular maintenance of tools ensures optimal performance, extends tool life, and improves machining accuracy and efficiency. This includes cleaning, lubrication, sharpening, and periodic calibration. Question number 21. What are the different types of welding joints? Answer. Common types include butt joint, lap joint, D joint, corner joint, and edge joint, each suitable for different welding applications based on the geometry of the parts being joined. Question number 22. Explain the concept of sheet metal forming. Answer. Sheet metal forming involves shaping thin metal sheets using processes such as bending, stretching, deep drawing, and rolling to create complex shapes and components. Question number 23. What factors affect the choice of cutting speed in machining? Answer. Cutting speed is influenced by material hardness, tool material, cutting depth, and machine rigidity. It is crucial to optimize cutting speed to achieve efficient machining without compromising tool life or surface finish. Question number 24. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of abrasive jet machining, AJM. Answer. AJM uses a high-velocity jet of abrasive particles suspended in a carrier gas to remove material from workpieces. Advantages include non-thermal process and ability to machine brittle materials, while disadvantages include slower material removal rate and potential for surface damage. Question number 25. What is the purpose of deburring in manufacturing processes? Answer. Deburring removes sharp edges and burrs left on machined parts, improving safety, aesthetics, and functionality by preventing potential injury and ensuring proper assembly. Question number 26. Explain the term hardness as it relates to materials. Answer. Hardness refers to a material's resistance to indentation, scratching, or deformation. It is an important mechanical property indicating the material's strength and wear resistance. Question number 27. How does injection molding work? Answer. Injection molding involves injecting molten material, usually plastic, into a mold cavity under high pressure. After cooling and solidifying, the mold opens to release the molded part, used extensively in mass production of plastic components. Question number 28. Discuss the role of quality control in workshop technology. Answer. Quality control ensures that manufactured parts meet specified standards and customer requirements through inspection, testing, and corrective actions. It aims to minimize defects and ensure consistent product quality. Question number 29. What are the advantages of using CAD, computer-aided design, in workshop technology? Answer. CAD software allows engineers to create, modify, analyze, and optimize designs digitally before physical production, reducing design iterations, improving accuracy, and speeding up the product development cycle. Question number 30. Describe the principles of lean manufacturing in workshop operations. Answer. Lean manufacturing focuses on minimizing waste, for example, overproduction, waiting time, unnecessary transportation, while maximizing efficiency, quality, and customer value through continuous improvement and employee involvement. 